Well, this is chapter 11, and we will continue talking about the economy in the short run, and we're going to develop the ISLM model a little bit further. So in this first lecture, we're going to do a brief overview. So lecture two will start um, using the ISLM model to model macroeconomic policy. Now we've had a little bit of a preview of that, but we're really going to do it in earnest in lecture two. Then in lecture three, we're going to start to study, well, what happens when we have more than one policy going on at the same time. So we need to see the interaction between monetary and fiscal policies, which are the two main macroeconomic policies. And then finally, we're going to derive the aggregate demand curve. So in lecture four, we'll come back to that big picture that we've been looking at, that overview, and take it one step further, bringing the ISLM together to get into the aggregate demand curve, along with the aggregate supply curve gives us a um, complete model of short-run fluctuations of the economy. And we will continue this with the next lecture.